Okay, knock everyone over. That works. Thank you for doing that. How do I... How do I like... There it is. Oh, you are so lucky that everyone got knocked over by that. <laughs> Someone yelled that black button. <laughs> The Metal Gear Solid games from least to best? Hmm. I would say least, starting with four. It's a really good game. I probably played it like eight times. I remember unlocking everything in it. But the cutscenes are super long, so that kind of turns off a lot of people. Graphics are amazing. They still hold up today with all the next gen graphics that they have today. Even some late gen PS3, because that was like early PS3, I believe, and it's super amazing how good that game looks. Oh shit, how do I peek in this game now? Uh, then probably one, if we're just talking the original one. Then two for the engine, then three, because three is kind of amazing. I am in a bad spot right now. Or am I? Oh, fuck you. You didn't see me. Shit, are you serious right now? How Have you been knocking on the walls? I can't hear anything. No, else. I'm not even doing that. I'm just there seeing me out of their zone of view. You're, you're I knew I right knew right. it was just walk in there. I knew it was just walk in there. I was going to say though you haven't been playing the game right because you haven't humped the walls yet by just. Uh, I did. I did that once. I did it once. Oh, Scratch my back a little bit. It's the best way to play the game. All right, now our dramatic undressing music. Really, I love all the Metal Gear Solid games. It's just hard to rank them. They're all good for different reasons. If I were to list the entire series, my God, Metal Gear One, what a bad game that is. Especially the final boss fight in that game, where you just have to remember a code and you have to grind to get all of the mines in the game to blow up the Metal Gear in the right order. Dumb boss fight. All right, solid start so far. Ugh. Solid, you say? The terrible, terrible, terrible start. On uh, that, that solid was completely unintentional. Snake's Revenge is not a canon game. It doesn't count. Peace Walker is amazing. You are wrong, Eco. You need to play that game with friends. On higher difficulties, the enemies have an extended double vision outside of their cone. Yeah, but I'm on normal. More or less, their vision should just be in the cone, isn't it? Or is that only in the original Solid, and then when they upgraded it to the 2 engine, they uh, upped that? I believe it's the original Solid. I'm in front of the disposal facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. Don't worry. It's been a Twin while. Snakes it's is not really identical. That sneaking suit working out? I'm nice they, they changed it's a lot of things for the better, Bear but also made the game stupidly cheesy. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. If you watch the uh, Chip Cheesem LP of Metal Gear Solid 1, he actually puts the cutscenes from the game in this just to show you how cheesy they are whenever there's something really stupid that happens. Yeah. I see. I that was him and Voidburger because Ironicus was like busier at the time or something. How's the diversionary operation? Peace Walker is a great game though. Have you played that, John? Peace Walker? No, not yet. Peace Walker and uh, Acid 2. And behind D. Yeah, and the one I said earlier. It's a Russian gunship doing uh, Ground Zero. So those are the three I haven't played. Yep. Peace Walker is really good, but it's a game that you really should be playing with friends. For the limitations that it had being on a PSP, they did a really good job. But I never played the PSP version, I only played the HD collection version, which just made it better. In every way. 
I wasn't stupid like Gerard and tried to complete the entire game though, because completing Peace Walker is dumb. You have to unlock every title, but the way the titles work in the game is it a it works in a ration where every title you unlock makes it harder to unlock the next title, which is really dumb. So screw that and screw all the insignias where it's like they're just boring grinds. Like do 200 missions naked. You've got to hurry. I'm not doing that. That's dumb. Crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, Game also sorry. has some really, really you to yet. silly missions this is and co-op weapons. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec as well as your I that was a good radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. All right, where's the command I'm looking nice for? You, there we go. It's an honor so, which event are you taking to get in? Yourself. Are you taking the up one or the down one? I nine times out of ten, I usually take the lower event. Do you just crawl past the guy sleeping in front of the vent? Because I usually do that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been a while, so I'm probably gonna bomb it. And to be fair, I believe I can get the tranquilizer gun out here. Is that? Yeah, that's outside the building, right? I think it's in the truck. Although I thought I thought I saw someone earlier say it's in a locker. I forget where it is. I know it's in a locker. I know there's something in a gun. That might just be the SOCOM. Oh. Otto in the chat says, I heard jet noises and I woke up. See, he knows where it's at. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies. And the blue cone shape... All right. Check the rooms to the left at the start of this area. I believe it might be in one of the lockers there. Otherwise, it's inside. Yeah, that's probably where it is then. Make sure you don't let them see you. First. Raiden is terrible. I remember in Metal Gear Solid 4 when he had white artificial blood, but the fact that it was white and he was coughing it up didn't make it look like blood, it kind of looked like something else. Mm. It was kind of nasty. That and his boyfriend Vamp was kind of flicking it off the blade and it kind of was disgusting. That whole thing was kind of crazy. It was. I don't like Raiden at all. Rising really didn't help too much. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it. Alright, so first giveaway is going to be uh, The Binding of Isaac plus the Wrath of the Lamb DLC. Yes, egg whites. Considering eggs were an important plot point. So, so, information or advice. I'm also in charge of mission data. So, we're going to do save your current status. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a question and answer on this one. So this is for a copy of The Binding of Isaac plus Wrath of the Lamb. Okay, remember, there is no capital letters in any of the answers we put in, but there will be spaces in this one, or a space singular. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip So, there you go. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that If you already have the game, do not enter. Cigarettes? How are those? Yeah, that should, that should go without saying at this point. Guys, oh, oh, we got our answer already, wow. If you want to get in, there's the front door. Mystic, uh, it's Mystic's fast, Edge. But there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What Mystic's the Edge. The Do you want this game? One sentry on the left. I assume so, since you were, you actually answered the question. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Oh, I didn't say they were going to be hard. Come on. They had to be reasonable for people to actually figure out. It's not like we're going to put a Metal Gear question and then be like, Oh, no, if you only have to know Metal Gear. If you don't know Metal Gear, you're kind of screwed. Okay, just checking out the buttons here. Just for you, Juker, I'm scratching my back. It's the best way to play it. Okay, so, Mystics, you're going to have to contact Chenzo, or message Chenzo, and then they will be able to actually hook you up with that copy of the game. We'll do the next giveaway in a little bit. 
Uh, what is in the middle of the helipad? That's just SOCOM ammo, right? I or, believe... Or is it cha- I thought it was chaff I grenades. It's chaff. Ooh, that's actually kind of tempting. Uh, I don't know. Knowing your luck, you're probably going to get spotted. Oh, knowing my luck, I'll get spotted immediately. I won't get spotted by the, the lights. I'll get spotted by the, just the asshole just walking around. Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a dumb thing. Someone please give snake humping the wall. Ah, there's the SOCOM. It was in the truck. I was right. The SOCOM or the Trank? The SOCOM. Okay. Yeah, because I was going to say... Okay, that's the asleep dude. Uh... You actually got that without getting caught. I'm impressed. So am I. Not going to lie. Where is... Oh, there it is. And there's a camera in the room. A surveillance camera. Should I just be lame and use the, you know what, I'm going to do it because I do not trust my luck right now. What are you trying to do? Using the chaff grenade inside the room. You can shoot the camera. I don't have a silencer. Okay, and? I don't have a silencer. Shoot it. They're not going to hear it from far away. Most likely. You know what? Just for just to prove it to you, I'm gonna do this. Oh shit! I don't remember how to like first person aim in this game now. Should be right bumper. So I guess that's R. I fucking can't believe you were right. Told you. God damn it. Why do you doubt me on this? Cause I thought a gun without a silencer would be heard. No, this isn't payday. Where if you shoot loudly into the air, everyone just immediately hears it. Sound actually travels. Alright, let's sneak past the sleeping guard. Huh? Oh, what? Oh, right, the guy's up top. Shit. Oh no, the sleeping guard actually woke up. From what, the shot? How, how did he see me? He was turned around. Whatever, that works. Trev also that says, eh, it really does. Uh, I know, I use Control Freak. Crud, I was supposed to have the night vision goggles or the infrared at this point, wasn't I? Nope. There's a few places you can get it. One of the places I believe was outside, if you want to turn around, I think you can get it still. Now there was an extra bit of dialogue I thought for standing at one of these, but I guess not. Maybe that was the one up top. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not there. Also, realistically, I don't think anyone could actually turn around on a dime inside of one of these vents. Well, no, he's snake. He just bends like a snake in those vents. There you go. Oh, here we go. Snake. This is McDonald Miller. Master this Miller! Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd yeah, someone in the chat brings up an important thing. Uh, footsteps do make noise. That is the thing. In a harsh environment. I've lived Especially depending on the surface. So call me if you have any questions Some surfaces are very clunky and will make a lot of noise. My frequency is 141.80. King Those butt face. Someone is also mentioning dick punching. Uh, you can actually dick punch in this game if you are really good at aiming in first person and punching. It instantly oh, knocks anyone out. God, I forgot about that too. You could do it from behind too if you really want to do that. Tunnels under the snow. But if you mess it up, knowing your luck, you will get immediately... Well, I somehow got the chaff grenade, no problem, so... You did, but the chaff grenade's a lot easier to get than punching someone in the balls. That is true. ...that are not their own, to ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. 
It's actually good nice. that we're doing this game because backloggery is down at the moment. Yeah, but they're going to be down for a while. By the time we get back to Cookie, it'll probably still be down as well. So we're going to be on Metal Gear a little bit longer. Uh-oh. I just realized something. What's that? Oh, never mind. I thought I might not have enough life to actually get through the vent. What are you talking about? What life? What, that I didn't have life or that I would lose life? Well, this is Metal Gear Solid 2 engine. If at any point you have orange health, you can just sit there. Oh yeah, right. Forgot about that. Except for, I, I thought that only related to bleeding. No, if you have a bandage and you heal yourself, but you're still kind of low on health, it will heal to a certain point. Alright, now... I remember I can hide under the tank, and there's actually an item there. Is there? Uh, I think it's just ammo, but there is definitely an item there. I've honestly never gone under there. I would definitely say now, do not shoot your gun in this room. Uh, apparently I was wrong about the item, but yes, you can indeed hide under the tank. Also, whoever's codec call that was, I missed it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, what?! You've got to be kidding me. All right, I need to see that again. All right, I can't wait till I see this. If it makes you feel better, you're doing better than DSP. No. Any human being should be better at this game than DSP. So, you know how you have to press the B button to get out of a codec call? Oh... Guess what controller thought I double tapped? I'm actually very upset about that right now. Also, I should be using the... Wait, that wasn't... That wasn't the tranquilizer gun. That no, I... That's the SOCOM is the pistol. No, no, no. In the, in the locker, I got stun grenades. Yeah, you didn't notice that. I wasn't paying attention. Cause I was, cause you were talking about shooting the camera. So I'm like, oh, well then I'll switch to the SOCOM and shoot the camera. The All right, I'm just waiting for the attack team to go away. Let's unequip the gun. For anyone who hasn't seen DSP play Metal Gear Solid 3 or 2 or 1 or any other Metal Gear game he probably played, probably shouldn't do it. It might actually give you severe amounts of cancer, but... I don't think I'd go that far. But Just it's, know, the it's part a... with the end, specifically, it, which is a, for anyone who doesn't know, is a really famous boss fight in the series where you do like a huge sniping battle. He immediately pulls out a shotgun. Kind of says everything you need to know. It was very interesting to watch, to say the least. I never wanted to scream at my computer screen until I saw him. Okay, that's one guy going away. That's two. Oh no, they're hanging out, having a chat. And watch there be a third guard I'm just not aware of. Or the camera I forgot about. Damn it. I'm dead. There's no way around it. So I've got no items. You, you might get a box in one of these areas. Well, the rooms I'm at right now are keycard locks, so I can't get in there. Fuck it, I'm going out smoking. Smoke like a man. You do know you could roll in this game, right? I know. I was hoping I had timed the roll with the explosion of the stun grenades, but apparently not. Why is the boss called the end? Because he's old. Yeah, that's literally the joke. That's literally it. He's just like 126 years old. And if you leave the game off for like two weeks, he actually dies of old age. If you really don't want to fight him. Is it two weeks? I thought it was one. 
No, if it's one, he'll actually knock you out. Oh, yeah. And that's an instant game over, isn't it? It's not a game over. He just takes you back, like, a half hour. Oh. Yeah. Needless to say, don't do that. Why would I get a code I call standing in the middle of a room? That seems like a bad idea. Don't worry. Uh, people are really nice in Metal Gear in any game and will not do anything while you're on the codec. They're actually... They're very polite. Uh, Juker, is it worth going upstairs now without a key card, or should I just take yes, the elevator? Yes, I believe that's one of the places where you can find the... I think it's one of the places where you can find the train gun, or the thermal goggles. It's one of them. Okay, this time the camera, so I'm probably going to have to get those chaff grenades ready. Safe. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's no way we're getting Psycho Mantis. Don't even bother, chat. If anything, we'll make it up to the tank and see the really amazing cutscene when you beat the tank with the grenade. You know the fight I'm talking about, right? I do, yeah. Okay. Come on, that looks like something good over there. Be careful when you're walking on the things on the top, because they make more noise. Got thermal goggles now. See, like I said, one of the items that I mentioned was going to be up here. You, you don't- WHAT?! Oh, they can look down in this game. Fuck, I forgot that was an addition. Yes. People are smart. No, the cameras. That too. No, I for that's not in Metal Gear Solid 1 normal. I know that, but I'm, I'm saying, like, yeah, they could do that now. You could just climb into the vent on the top. Use the elevator to move from floor to floor. I can what? There's a ladder with a vent. Why don't you just go up there? The oh, well, I'm just... The action button. Ready to use the elevator here. Oh, right, I have to call the damn thing. What's the action button? That's the action button. It's Y. If you press it twice, it comes instantly. Thank you for telling me that now. Might not be instant, but it might, might be like... That was, that was pretty damn time. close to instant. Okay, I'd like to pick... Thank you. Oh shit, did they finally post that? I guess I can say that. Uh, I'm on the Co-Optional Podcast tomorrow. Oh, nice. So I got contacted about that tonight. So I will have to duck out the stream in like an hour or so to get TRG work done and I make sure I'm actually ready for tomorrow. Uh, Should I be down in the armory yet? There's no point in me being um, down here, right? I have no, no key cards. There is nothing to get down here at so, the moment. Okay, I'll go straight to Darpa Chief then. This Darpa Chief cutscene is fantastic. Look at the radar! It's picking up the DARPA chief! He's the green dot! Hurry and rescue him! Oh, we're never gonna get to Machine Gun Yoshi or Mario. A tradition of mine whenever I play this game, right after I beat Gray Fox, I just make sure to pull out the FAMAS and just unload a clip on both of them. <laughs> Here, Yoshi! It's funny because you get like 31 offs out of that, which do nothing, of course. Uh, thermal G's. Oh, that's a little bit harder on the eyes than I expected. All right. Now, uh, which one is it she's in? There we go. Tara Strong is in Metal Gear. She is Paws. In Peace Walker. If you really want to waste time on this stream, you can go in and out of this vent multiple times and then I, see Meryl I, without I, a I pants was, on. Oh, I found Johnny instead. Oh no, Johnny's there. there. You have to go farther for Meryl. You have to do it like five or six times, though it's boy, not worth boy. the time. That woman is built Meryl is right. pantsless because, oh man, sexy ladies in video games. Sexy military ladies. Nah, I'm cool with that. Sexy rookie military ladies. And 
is this Meryl or is this just a generic... Oh, that's not the button. What button? Oh my god, let's see. Alright. C sticks, because... It's not, the C it's not the C stick. Really? It's hold Z. Hold Z and then use the left thumbstick. Dude, I don't know if you're aware of this. The Metal Gear... The Twin Snakes control scheme is really fucking weird. I would imagine so, since it runs on MGS2 engine, but it's also on a GameCube controller, so it's lacking buttons. It's really weird. So that's why I keep, like, accidentally pulling myself back up when I try to jump over a railing. And this should be Meryl. Someone's asking for a little bit of Metal Gear Solid 1's Twin Snake trivia. All right. When you fight Psycho Mantis, there are some paintings in the background. One of them is Kojima. That was not there in the original game. It's kind of creepy because they actually laugh at you. A woman. A woman. Not him. Not him. <laughs> I forgot he said that. Meryl's getting cut. Did I pick... What did I pick up earlier? I guess it must have been ammo. Maybe it was a porno magazine. No, I, I've got, like, nothing new in my inventory, which is weird. I thought I... Oh, porno no, I, I picked up another, some more chaff grenades. That's what it was. I was going to say, though, those magazines, they are fantastic. Game Metal Gear. Put them down. And then people... The guards do the little chicken dance. Oh, yeah. You've seen the chicken dance, right? I The one with the shakedown? Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, when, you, whenever you put down a magazine, the guards get on their knees and just kind of do a chicken call. Oh right, I forgot about that. Better than the jump button in Narc. Yes, okay, that's completely correct. Who? Who's that? I'm here to save you. All right, let's do another yeah, giveaway. We've got a bit. Anderson, right? Zemnus, I was just talking about that. You have to go into the vent around like five or six times just to see her without pants. Yeah, I'm. It. I'm not doing that. What's your outfit? We're not wasting time doing that. I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. This next giveaway is for Portal 2. This is once again for Steam. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. <sighs> Sweet Jesus. So yes, DARPA Chief is Sigurd from Metal Gear Solid 3. Is it possible? It's possible. They... <laughs> Hurry up and get me out of here, but first let's talk for 15 minutes. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for the keeping of Sprode is the winner of Portal 2! 